Algebra 2 <laughs> students, it is time to learn about graphing absolute value equations. And the best way to learn about graphing absolute value equations is to start with an equation that we already know how to graph, which is y equals x. Real quickly, I'll run through it. If we do a t-chart, my favorite graphing utility, and we say we have x and y, we choose a few numbers for x. Negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. And if I say, well, if x is negative 2, then y must be negative 2. And if x is negative 1, then y must be negative 1. If x is 0, y must be 0. If x is 1, y must be 1. And if x is 2, y must be 2. And now we have five sets of ordered pairs that we can use to graph. And I've graphed those points on this coordinate plane over here. Negative 2, negative 2, negative 1, negative 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, and 2, 2. They create this blue line here. Okay? And so now what we want to look at is this equation and this equation. What's the difference between the two? Well, in the purple writing, the purple equation, there's an absolute value sign here around the x. And how does that change things? Well, let's do another t-chart. Okay, so we have our t-chart. I'm going to choose the same numbers right here. Negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. And immediately... We look at this and say negative 2, if x is negative 2, well the absolute value of negative 2 is 2. So y equals 2. And if x equals negative 1, the absolute value of negative 1 is positive 1. And if x is 0, the absolute value of 0 is 0. If x is 1, the absolute value of 1 is 1. And if x is 2, the absolute value of 2 is 2. So the difference you can see is that here we had negative 2 equal to negative 2 because these were equal. But now we have the absolute value of negative 2, which is 2. So these end up being positive. How does that change our graph? Well. Negative 2, we start here and go negative 2, positive 2, we go up instead of down. Negative 1, 1 is a graph that we go up instead of down. 0, 0 is the same, 1, 1 is the same, and 2, 2 is the same. And now we have this graph that is a V. And so you can see the difference between the two graphs is that because with an absolute value, your x can't be negative, okay, or your y, sorry, your y can't be negative, you get this V shape instead of a straight line. And in our next segment of video, we will talk about what happens if you add and subtract things to the x on this side, and we'll do that next time.